What else I wanted to talk about? Oh, have you seen these remote, these uh, off-white remote luggage bags? Fucking sick. So, um, as I'm sure you're aware, Virgil's been in the cultural zeitgeist at the moment, as you know, as it pertains to being the artistic director of Louis Vuitton's menswear, and you know, everything's kind of ramping up for him and. Uh, he's kind of landed a collaboration with Ramoa at the moment, the luxury luggage company. And they've they've kind of pivoted their position in the market since uh, Alex, I think it's Alex or Alexandra, one of, the, one of the sons of the head of LVMH group has kind of taken over Ramoa's operations. So he's kind of, you know, trying to get it back into being a cultural talking point, you know, since their collaboration with Supreme and they've got a few other things coming out. I'm sure they're going to do a fragment one because Hiroshi's always kind of carrying a Ramoa. Japanese people love Ramoa. The quality of the, of the luggage is... Uh, are something they kind of prescribe to a lot and Virgil's done one for Off-White and it looks fucking sick it's all clear as you can I've got it up on the screen here hopefully you guys can see um, so it's, it's a clear uh, cabin bag with these you know with these sort of like um, quotes on the little compartments inside. I like it because like, you know miscellaneous kind of items in there which is quite cool um, yeah it's a clear it's a clear Ramona bag like amazing isn't it luggage bag cabin bag fucking sick it got some replacement wheels some orange wheels there too which is a nice little detail I think it looks amazing. I can't wait for that to drop. Um, and I think he mentioned earlier that they're not. I think that Alex mentioned that they're not gonna. They're not gonna try and do too many collaborations. They're not gonna try and rent kind of like overflow the market with remote collaborations. But I think it's a great, great, great thing um, to put out there, especially especially now with hype beasts nowadays. All all fixated on just buying the most expensive shoes right the idea of traveling the world you know Virgil's always promoting the fact that he's going different places and traveling hopefully Ramoa in terms of their um, activation or their promotional or marketing material kind of uh they kind of even though the luggages are really expensive right they start from like I don't know is it 600 quid or something like that right they, they're not cheap but there might maybe there's an idea that buying a Ramoa luggage it's something that's going to last you a whole lifetime, right? Because people, they sell used ones on eBay for quite a lot of money too. So imagine it's going to last you an entire lifetime. And it's something that you can pass down from generation to generation, sort of like a Rolex. And it's also something that kind of encourages people to kind of get out there and experience the world, right? And live, live a little, right? Go and travel. And you always see people like Virgil posting stuff about him going traveling around Europe or in DJ gigs. And it's less, it's less the traveling it's it's less it's left it's less the traveling escapades of like a really hot social media girl who's just going to like loads of uh, expensive resorts and more so a travel escapades of, of a creative right where you're going to his design studio in Milan, uh, going to a meeting in New York, visiting his store in New York, going to LA, going to Coachella, DJing at a certain festival. That's what he kind of promotes, and those trips are fairly inexpensive for most people who are able to afford buying shoes on resale you can afford to go to uh, a, a primavera like i did you can afford to go to a camp flogna the clients creators um, festival you can afford to go to a rolling loud you can afford to go to a duce palooza you can afford to go to a wuha festival you can afford to go to places because if you, if you can if you can buy those trainers you can buy off-white jordans or off-white vacant maps or pressos and shit you can put the money together to go on a trip so i hope ramoa's marketing promotion or marketing uh, material or the activation centers itself around the idea of exploration about getting out there and living you know and not just being someone that lives behind a screen or just being a fucking vapid hype beast because as much as i hate hype beasts and as much as i think it doesn't necessarily um uh take the culture anywhere interesting i still think it's an interest it's a good place to to start it's a good starting point like i know when i first got involved in streetwear that was a point that i came in it from right being the person that wants to wear the most expensive garments right the most rarest pieces uh you want to one up your mate um the idea kind of similar to what that guy that kid does on unknown vlogs about how much is your outfit it's kind of cringy now to watch it but i know when i was younger i would have liked to have been that person of like you know i've got this like 600 quid margella jumper blah 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 and you add it up and it's like you know you're like fifteen thousand in right and it's all rare pieces so that's sick but it's a good starting point because then it gets you educated on different designers, different backgrounds of designers. It gets you interested in different houses, uh, different uh, creative forms of expression. It maybe connects you to different stores around the world. You meet different people. Uh, you queue up at different stores. Uh, you might be network a bit more. and it, Or even just queuing at a different store. You go traveling to Pata or wherever, and you kind of go get exposed to Amsterdam. You might smoke some weed, hang out with some new cool friends. You get exposed to new music. And hopefully it opens your eyes to kind of like traveling the world and kind of like getting out there you know and actually taking part in culture for real and not just doing it from behind the screen because the good thing about streetway as popular as it is now people like to complain that it's got too big and stuff the good thing about it is that 
it's worldwide, right? You can literally go everywhere around the world and really, really connect with people just based on the clothes that you wear. I remember the story of Aaron Bondaroff, um, a former model for Supreme and former head of uh, a New York thing and No Wave Radio said one time when he was stranded in uh, Holland or Amsterdam one time, he was lost and he didn't have any money to get back home because he missed his flight or whatever. He sold stuff that he was wearing, like Supreme bits, like old Supreme bits that he had on him and he ended up getting a flight back home. And that idea that, you know, that, that stuff was a currency that was not region specific, country specific or language specific, that like he could connect to people abroad and exchange and barter his items so he could get back home. Like, so that idea of traveling, that idea of connecting with different people is really important, especially if you're someone that's uh, a bit of a cultural uh, tourist or what's that shirt that Harry Preston did, that really cool shirt. It's like a, was it World uh, Influencer World Tour, right? You go to Art Miami Art Basel, you go to the MoMA, you go to the New York Art Book Fair, you go to Coachella, you go to all these cultural uh, significant stuff in the scene. Then I think that's where Romero should really concentrate their promotional material on as opposed to the idea of just having the, the a piece of luggage at your home and just having it sit there like i hope the kids that bought the supreme romero collection don't just have it in their room it's just sitting there like as an ornament like live it breathe it use it do you know what i mean get it fucked up put some stickers on it like do you know what i mean i saw a guy actually the other day coming back from period who had a, a backpack with loads of badges of everywhere he's been around the world right of different countries also did which look fucking cool and i see people do the same thing with their luggage romero luggage they put stickers from all the places they've been around the world and it's fairly durable. You can kind of knock it around. So I hope that happens with Ramo. I hope they kind of do that. If you guys need any help, of course, holler at the kid. But yeah, the luggage is fucking amazing. I love it. Um, I can't wait for it to drop. Hopefully, it's uh, fairly easy to get. And even if it's not, for you that are able to get it, do get it. But then also look to travel, look to get out there, especially if you live in Europe. It's so cheap to fly mainland for in, in mainland Europe. I went to, what, to Barcelona for 160 quid. Uh, at the peak time for an amazing festival i've been to berlin for 40 pounds 50 pounds i've been to cope i'm i'm gonna go to copenhagen for maybe under 100 quid you go to all these different cool places really visit places really connect to culture really uh meet people who also have the same interests with you in the same in different countries especially if you're wearing different cool trainers like i was in barcelona and people were looking at my wave runners every two seconds i'm walking down the street not because i'm cool but because they're wave runners and they connect with that uh they connect to that um, they connect to that item, right? There's a there's a language that we all speak. There's a there's a kind of silent language, a little head nod. You can acknowledge, okay, cool. If you if, if I'm wearing wave runners, we probably like the same sort of music. We probably like the same sort of designers, and we can kind of start talking. And that's how I kind of got involved in doing the stuff that I'm doing now, or just kind of got involved in culture in general, just from kind of being a participant, but also going to things. And there's nothing more evident than that piece recently with a kid that went to the Wyoming, um, the Yay album listening party in Wyoming. He drove six hours down to Wyoming, was head to toe in Yeezy, bumped into one of Yeezy's uh, Kanye's fret mates and got talking and kind of finessed himself into the into the the gig. And that story isn't isn't uh that story isn't um isn't representative of what actually happens all the time, right? Sometimes you can do that, drive six hours and still not get in. But the idea is that you're there. You have the you have the context of being there, right? So that kid has a different idea of what the list of what the album means to him because he's actually in that room where the listening experience was happening, right? So it's, a, it's less about the achievement of getting in there. It's also about the process of of going out there, experiencing new things, connecting with people, going to different places, eating new food, smelling new things, hearing different sounds, seeing different bits of architecture. Like, you know, especially if you live in London and you go to Prague, it's a completely different architecture from what you've definitely been used to seeing. Or even places like Berlin, it's a bit dilapidated, graffiti everywhere, buildings crumbling, stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's just that idea of just like really living and really connecting the stuff that you wear, the stuff that you listen to, to where you're going. You know, that's that, that, should, that should be right especially if you're into the soundcast stuff you have to go to LA like go to LA and see where these kids are from go to Miami go see where these kids are actually coming from go and see where it's about go to Harlem and see where it's at Rockies come from and see where Dipset all that thing has been at and just kind of connect with culture for real and that will kind of inform you and then later on in life you can kind of involve you know and get away from the whole hype beast tag that gets a bit shitty so hopefully Ramo will do that and promote the luggage in that in that way. But I'm happy to see them kind of, you know, really get themselves into the cultural zeitgeist and really get into the conversation. And hopefully you see loads of kids with loads of Ramoa backpack luggages. I have this shit sort of like copy Ramoa that isn't Ramoa. I took off the label, right? But I, I really want to get one. So if anyone out there wants to get, give me a Ramoa. Hold on, your boy. Um, 